What's happening, guys? My name's Laura, also known as Biceps. I am an author, PT, and director of the Foundry Gym here in London. I'm here to take you through a strength workout that's going to be focusing on pull movement, predominantly working the posterior chain. You're going to be needing two medium dumbbells, and we're going to get you fit and strong, ready for the National Fitness Games, aligned with women's health. Now, don't worry if you're not doing this workout as part of my four-week program. This is still a fantastic standalone workout. Now, as always, take your time, move safe. If you need to rest, that's totally fine. But that's enough of my chat. Let's get into it. All right, team, let's get into this warm up. We're going to start with an inchworm walkout into toe tap. Knees are soft, push your bum back, feel that stretch through the back of the leg, walk it out, and you're going to tap through. When you're ready, off we go. So you're just going to be walking it out into that position, embracing the midline nice and hard, reaching through, getting that little bit of shoulder stability work as well when we are here. Go on, last one. Excellent. Well done. From here, we're going to step one foot out, drop that elbow, open up, get that nice rotation through the T-spine, elbow down, all the way up. Getting that movement through the mid to upper back, and we're going to switch to the other side. Well done. Last one here, and then we're going to drop it onto our backs. You're going to take it into that glute bridge position. Just here, driving the hips up nice and hard. Squeeze the glutes, feel that in the hamstrings. Last one. Nice. Up onto our feet. All you're going to do, keep the knees soft. You're going to push your bum back. And you're going to drop into that squat. Stand it up. Let's get a couple more reps in. Push the bum back. Drop it down. Drive up. Well done. Bum back. Drop down, stand up. Well done, team. That is our warm-up complete, and we're going to get ready to go into the main part of the workout. Okay, so for this workout, we're going to be doing five different pull movements. The first one is going to be that Romanian deadlift. Knees are soft. We're going to get into the hamstrings. Then we're going to take it into the upper body, and we're going to do some single arm rows in that isometric hip hinge position, bent over. We're going to do that on each side. Then we're going to take it into that hip extension, into that B stance glute bridge. So 30 seconds on one side, 30 on the other. As always, we're going to be working for that same amount of time with 10 seconds rest. We're going to hit three rounds of the full circuit and we're going to have a little rest after each round. Let's get started. All right, team, so we're going to get into the first round of our pole workout. Our first exercise is that RDL, that Romanian deadlift, an excellent deadlift variation to hit those hamstrings and glutes. So feet shoulder width apart, stack those shoulders packed back and down, and we are ready to go. 30 seconds work in two, one, off we go. So as I'm lowering, all I'm thinking about here is pushing my bum as far back as I can and keeping that nice neutral spine. Like there's a door behind me, and I'm opening it with my bum. I'm keeping the weights nice and close to my body. The further it is away from us, the harder it is to control, and we don't want to round that back. Just focusing on that nice hip hinge. Nice, slow, eccentric drive come up. We've got one more rep. Two, one, and take a rest. Well done. All right, we're going to take this into the upper body, and we're going to do a single arm row. Still in that hip hinge position, all we're going to do is row into our back pocket. Off we go. So nice and strong position here. Again, we don't want to be rounding our back. So if you feel you need to reset before each rep, you absolutely can. So we're keeping the elbow nice and close to the body. And don't forget to breathe. Nice work. Well done. Last couple of reps here. Awesome. Keeping it nice and tight to the body. Last one, two, one, and reset. Well done. We're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Nothing changes. Feet shoulder width apart. Shoulders packed back and down. Keep the elbow close to the body in that hip hinge, and we're rowing it in. So notice I'm rowing it all the way back. I'm not in this position. I prefer to get that nice full range really to hit the lats. Well done. And like I said, if you feel you need to come up and reset, you absolutely can. That's all good. Nice control on the way down. 
nice and pacey, keeping nice soft knees. Well done team, last rep. Two, one, well done. All right, we're gonna take it onto the floor now. And we're gonna go into a glute bridge, but we're gonna go into a B stance, all right? So a unilateral version. One leg is a little bit closer than the other, and we're gonna extend, off we go. So you just see that I'm driving that heel into the floor, and then my other leg is extended. So this leg is doing the majority of the work. Focusing on that breath, big deep breath in, and exhale as you come down, well done. I'm also imagining dragging that heel towards me, really to fire up the hamstrings and the glutes, well done. Last rep here please, two, one, good. And then we're just gonna take our time to switch sides. Heels come together, other leg comes out. So this leg's gonna be doing the majority of the work now. Weight stays in the same position and off we go. Hips extended, big breath, driving up, nice. So you also notice maybe I'm holding just like a second at the top just to increase that intensity by adding a little pause at the full extension. Well done team, this is our last exercise in our first round. We're gonna get a nice rest and we're gonna get ready to go back. Well done, finish this strong. Last one, two, one, amazing. Safely and gently remove that weight from your hips and you're free to stand up, shake it out and have a little rest. So that is our first round completed. Now, like I said, this workout is focused on our posterior chain and lots of pull exercises. So our posterior down the back musculature of our body. The deadlift is one of the biggest compound movements and it hits almost every single muscle in the body. So we're gonna get back into that second round and just think about that setup. The hip hinge, is just breaking at the hip. We are keeping our knees soft, but make sure we're not squatting and we're not rounding the back. So team, if you are ready, we're gonna get started to go into our first round. So I'm gonna grab those dumbbells and I'm gonna get into position. Feet shoulder width apart, shoulders packed back and down. Core is tight. I'm gonna give you that demo of the first rep again and you're gonna get ready to join me driving up to full extension. All right, team, we are ready to go. In three, two, one, we're in, round two. So now this time, now we know the movement and we're keeping our lats engaged, maybe you can start to push your bum back a little bit further and then you're driving up, squeezing the glutes nice and hard. Well done. Lovely, slow eccentric, bringing a great stimulus to this muscle group. Exhale, well done. Last couple of reps here, team. One more. Just about gonna get it in, there we go. And take a rest. All right, you're gonna put one dumbbell down. Then we're gonna repeat that same movement pattern in that hip hinge, but we're gonna row it into our back pocket. Ready? Off we go. So pushing our bum back, rowing it in, controlling it down, well done. Really squeezing that tricep at the top. Amazing work, team. Now, like I said, if you need to stand up, reset, and come back down into it, that is totally fine. We wanna squeeze the glutes as hard as we can, just to take that pressure out of the lower back. And if you feel you can, you can just stay in this bent over position. Last rep, two and one, amazing. All right, let's take it over onto the other side. Same again, shoulders pat back and down, core is tight, knees are soft, just pushing that bum back to get into that position, and I'm gonna row it into my back pocket. That's it, well done. So we're just protecting that lower back by squeezing our glutes nice and hard. And if you wish to reset, you can. Really rowing hard into that position, well done. Amazing. All right, let's get one more rep in, shall we? Push that bum back, rowing it in, control it all the way down. Well done, okay, we're gonna take it to the floor again. Now this time round two, if you're feeling up for it, I am, I'm gonna add some weight, okay, so if you've got that other dumbbell, go for it, ready to go in that B stance. So I'm here, driving that single leg into the floor, and I've got a little bit more external load in the dumbbells. Make sure it's in a comfortable position for you. Nice, well done. 
<sighs> Squeezing those glutes hard at the top. Nice. Last couple of reps, we can fit them in. <sighs> no rush. Amazing. All right, last rep. Pause at the top and recover. If you need to readjust your weights, you can. We're just gonna switch that stance onto the other leg, all right? So, last one, ready to go, and we're in. So we're driving through that heel. Little pause at the top, well done. Really hitting those glutes, the core. Nice. Still feeling like I'm dragging that heel towards me to light up my hamstring. Nice. All right, last rep here. Two, one, and recover. All right, I'm gonna gently and safely drop those dumbbells and put them away, ready for our final round. So we're two rounds down. Usually in strength development, we wanna make sure that we're hitting a decent amount of volume to hit uh, the desired amount of total reps. So together, we're gonna do a third round. Of course, if you want to continue on uh, or watch this back, you absolutely can, all right? So little breather, grab a little sip of water if you need it. And uh, we're just gonna focus on that last round, okay? So in the RDL, if you feel like actually, I've got some heavier weights, now's a great time to do it because the thing about strength training, it should be progressive, but progressively progressive because we want to take it slow, right? This stuff takes time. So no pressure, just make sure those last few reps are a challenge. Ready to go, shoulders pat back and down in three, two, and one. Push that bum back as far as you can and then drive up to a nice full extension. Now what we don't want to do when we're doing this hip hinge movement is blow the weights down just for the sake of it and round our back, okay? So you'll find your range. As soon as your bum can't go back anymore, that's it, well done. Last few reps here. Nice. And take a rest. Okay, well done. We're gonna take it into that row now. So one dumbbell goes down, and we're gonna get back into that hip hinge position, all right? So ready to go. Pushing that bum back, then you're rowing it in to your back pocket. Now, if you're doing this at home or wherever, maybe you could put your hands somewhere for a bit of support, or like I said, you can come up, reset, back into that row position. Well done. Last few reps here, team. Last one. Nice and tight. Two, one, and stand it up. Awesome. All right, onto the other side. Feet shoulder width apart, knees are soft. Just getting into that nice position. Arm nice and long, shoulders packed back and down, and we're rowing it in. Make sure you're squeezing the glutes, especially on, you know, third round or more to make sure that we're managing that lower back when we're under a little bit of fatigue. Well done. Keeping it tight to your body. All the way into your back pocket. You can stand up and reset if you need, all good. Last rep. Two, one, and take a rest, amazing. All right team, we're gonna take it into that glute bridge. Okay, so we're gonna get into that glute bridge position. Now, if you wanna keep those two dumbbells, that is absolutely fine. Ready to go in three, two, one, let's go. So we've got that staggered stance position. So we are predominantly using one side, okay? So we're driving up. Give me that one second pause at the top and come back down, well done. Keep imagining you're dragging that heel into the floor towards you just to get maximum engagement of the hamstrings. Nice, well done. Last couple of reps here. Three, two, and one. And then we're just gonna carefully switch sides, all right? So like I said, if you need to rejig your weights so they are safe and comfortable, you can. And ready to go, please. In three, two, and one. Let's go. 
Last time we are doing this together. Drive those hips up as high as you can. Focusing on that breath, big deep breath in. Squeeze and lower. Well done team, so nearly there. Let's get a couple more reps in, shall we? Glutes are absolutely on fire at this stage. Well done. All right team, last one. Two and one. Amazing. All right, I'm gonna invite you to just pop your weight safely down beside you and we're gonna get into that cool down. All right, so just get your heels uh, together. You're just gonna drop your knees from left to right. Just gonna work out that lower back. Certainly our posterior, our spinal erectors in our back have done a lot of work today. So we wanna make sure we just ease them off. All right, team, so you're gonna gently come up onto your front. You're gonna come into a high plank position. You're just gonna step one foot forward and you're just gonna get into this nice pigeon pose. Get this foot as high as you can, straighten out that back leg. And if you feel it is appropriate and you're able to do so, you can come down onto your elbows to extend that stretch. We're gonna hold for three, two, and one. Slowly come up back into that tall plank position and we're gonna bring the other leg forward and in front. Again, you might find one side is a little bit more mobile than the other. And if you feel it is appropriate, come down onto your elbows and just hold here. Well done. Last three, two and one. All right, you're gonna gently come up onto that tall plank, push into downward dog. I just want you to walk heel to toe into your hands. And then you're gonna gently unravel your whole body you're going to come up to standing onto your toes and then you're going to come back. Give yourself a round of applause, gang. Well done. You absolutely crushed that strength workout. Focus on the posterior chain. If you are doing this as a standalone workout, that is awesome. If you're doing it as part of my four week program to train for national fitness games aligned with women's health, make sure you progressively increase your range or your load slowly over time. And you know the drill, like, subscribe to the Women's Health page for more amazing fitness content. My name's Laura and I'll see you next time.